Hello everybody and welcome to your last quarter moon in Gemini collective reading. This reading will cover the time frame of September 17th through September 24th as Luna is in a last quarter position in Gemini on the 17th and then she will wane down through Cancer and Leo, Virgo, and then she becomes a new moon in Libra on September 25th. All right, and last quarter moons are a time for reflection, really evaluating, you know, everything that's just happened, the harvest we've received, the way things have been working out for us, okay? And as Luna continues to wane down, all right, and then um, becomes new, that whole period, the 17th through the 24th, is a time of reflection, okay? So the insights that are coming to you, the dreams that you're having, the signs and synchronicities that are showing up, they're very significant. That is the universe trying to reflect back to us what it is that blocks us, what's in our way, what we need to understand, what we need to change, what we need to evolve into. Also, sometimes things that have been hidden from us that we're unaware of, all right, and those uh, things coming to light, coming to the surface. So from the 17th through the 24th is a time of reflection and really connecting to the environment around you and all things that are being reflected back to you. It's information, all right? So let's pull some cards and see what else Spirit wants to add. It's like uh, some of you we need to recap, review, reevaluate uh, before you make the next move, okay? So we have first quarter moon energy, don't give up. Solar eclipse moon energy portal. And Pisces moon energy completion. All right, we just had the Pisces full moon on September 10th. So this is significant, all right? Um, so with this first quarter moon showing up, this is, you know, we have a few phases to go through before we get there, all right? So Luna's going to wane down and then become new on the 25th of September, and then she's going to become a waxing crescent, all right, until she moves into that first quarter moon position, so like two weeks. Um, so what Spirit is saying is even though this reading is only for the, I intended it only for the time frame of September 17th through the 24th, Spirit is coming in saying, no, we're going to take this from September 10th when we had the Pisces full moon all the way out to the middle of, you know, like the first week or the middle of October. Let me see exactly the dates when we have our next, okay, so new moon. Okay, so the first quarter moon will be in Capricorn on October 2nd. All right, so September 10th through October 2nd is the true uh, message of this reading. And um, what's interesting about those dates is Mercury actually went retrograde on September 9th and will be direct on October 2nd. Okay, so um, I feel that Mercury retrograde energy is in conjunction to the message for this last quarter moon and then Luna becoming new and then going into a first quarter position. You, over these like next two weeks or so, you are going to receive a lot of insight as to why something didn't work out. Something just didn't happen. Um, whether it was divine intervention, there was things you didn't know. Therefore, if you knew about them, you wouldn't want it. Okay. Or um, you weren't ready just yet to receive. You know, it's going to be different for all of you. But something that just did not happen as you expected over these next two weeks, you're going to understand why. And... Um, don't give up because Spirit says this isn't the end of the journey. Even though that didn't happen, this is not the end of the journey. 
by the time we get to this first quarter moon position, you know, the first couple days of October, there's a portal that's going to open for you. And it's like you're going to get a second go round, a second chance. All right. So um, this portal could open at any point, you know, for you from the time you view this reading all the way out to October 2nd. All right. But just know that you're going to receive the information, the understanding as to why something could not happen for you, what needs to be changed, etc. And then therefore that energy will shift inside of you and you're going to step through the portal and you get like a second go round, a second chance, or it's like you branch off in a direction totally different than what you were anticipating but it's a much better thing for you and you're happy about it. So let's pull some more cards. And you know, with this Mercury retrograde energy coming through, um, Mercury is retrograding through Libra and then we'll dip back into Virgo and then um, go direct on October 2nd and then move back into the sign of Libra on October 10th. And so, you know, Libra is seventh house, which is relationships and karma. And Virgo's sixth house is patterns, routines, the daily and details. All right. So with this Mercury retrograde, a lot of you are going to be reflecting upon various relationships and not just with people, but with yourself, with the universe, with food, with life. OK, a lot of reflection in that area. And you're going to see things that are out of balance, things that that need attention, that need healing, that need a change in perceptive per, perception, sorry. All right, you're going to notice all of that and you're going to be able to do any sort of shifting or changing within yourself because again, you're going to step through this portal where you have a second chance at something or you're veering down an entirely new path, but you're excited for this. All right, freeing the threads of connection. Wow, yes. And then um, we have animal soul guardians. All right, so part of these signs of synchronicities that you're gonna be experiencing is gonna come from nature, like birds, uh, or a squirrel like a certain animal giving you a lot of attention or not seeming fearful of you as it should be or seeing the same insect continuously like um in front of you or even through like emojis on shows different things like that different posts that you're looking at all right really pay attention to the animals and insects that keep appearing um in your life between now and october 2nd okay because they are bringing message and the animal or insect that continually shows itself to you, if you're not feeling anything intuitively from it, do a Google search for the spiritual meaning and significance of that animal or insect, okay? Because the universe is going to be using um, the animals and the insects to bring you messages, to bring you communications, okay? And your angels, your spirit guides, your past on loved ones also work through the animal avatars. Now, bring the threads of connection. What did not come to fruition in the past? You've got to let it go. And as you let it go, again, you're going to come into the understanding as to why it couldn't happen then or that specific way or finally realizing, wow, I'm glad that never happened at all because I, I didn't know all of this. OK, this outcome will be a little different for each of you. But we've really got to separate and disconnect ourselves from what did not work out, what did not happen. So it doesn't taint or tarnish what could happen, what could be, what is up ahead for each and every one of us, this portal. Okay, I, I keep feeling like do over, do over, do over. Don't give up. You're, you're going to get a second chance. All right. And I know like that message means a little bit something different for everybody, but it's like do over, don't give up and um, really immerse yourself in this evaluation 
because you're going to see everything, like why it could not work and what you need to do to change or what your strategy is for your next step, your next move. All right, so let's pull some tarot and go deeper. Eight of Wands, yeah, see, things are really going to change here for you. Ace of Cups, Two of Wands, see, second chance, do over. The Magician, and that's the card that represents Mercury, wow. Page of Swords, and look at learning, understanding, information coming to you. Nine of Cups, do over, and it's going to work this time. The Hermit, why? Because you are wise. This time you know. This time you understand. There's nothing hidden from you. You're ready. You're able. You're capable. You know what? Some of you, it's like this was presented to you in the past at some point, And it's what you wanted. But it really freaked you out. It's showing up. And you were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe I'm not ready for this. And you kind of walked away from it. And now it's really on your heart, on your mind, and you're like, you know what? I want this. I absolutely do. Spirit says, don't give up on that. Get back in that energy. See where it takes you, okay? It's really time to let the past go so this um, second chance, this energy can be brand new, all right? So it can work this time. But if we bring the past into it, it taints it. And see, it's second chance. Brought to you by Mercury Retrograde, okay? However, um, with the second chance, Luna's giving you the energy to do that evaluation, to review, to see things we've <clears throat> missed before. And that comes through in this Page of Swords. And from there, you're going to know what to do, what not to do, okay? You are ready to receive. All right, let's pull some more tarot. <clears throat> Four of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Two of Cups, there's two again, second chance, there's the sun, and you know what, it's funny because I was, I meant to show you guys that the sun was on the bottom of this deck as well, okay, and the, the sun coming out reminded me. So the fact that I noticed the sun and then here it is, it's meant to be part of this read, so we'll go ahead and uh, pop this out there on Don't Give Up, okay, because you got the sun. Mercury is really shedding light on stuff as well. Seven of Pentacles, see, receiving all the information as to why it couldn't work before. And it's time for victory is success with that emotional wish fulfillment of the Nine of Cups with the Chariot. Wow, that is so beautiful. I love it. And the star. See? And this is collective for all of us. All right? And that's why I'm getting excited because, you know, I'm part of the collective too. And I can think of a couple things that feel like they kind of blew up in my face. And so I'm like, wow, okay. And then just different thoughts and emotions I've been having as of late. I'm like, oh, wow, all this makes so much sense. Thank you, spirit. So, yeah, all that we could not see before is being revealed through this Mercury retrograde. All right. And um, from the moon being full in Pisces all the way to the moon being at a first quarter position in Capricorn on October 2nd. These messages apply. This energy is going to be unfolding in your world. Um, some of you, this is absolutely around relationships. I mean, we got the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups right there. So it's like a second chance at a relationship that just failed in the past, whether romance or friendship, um, maybe even a family connection. So there's a lot of healing and reconnection going on. And again, you know, um, being um, Mercury, being in Libra, that is seventh house, that's relationships, that's soulmates and karmic energy. So that's why I feel like the focus of relationships is strong at the first uh, part of this reading, okay? And 
it's like the magic is going to come in. You're going to see why things just could not work out in the past. And you're finally going to have healing and resolution. And you've got Nine of Cups with um, the Chariot, the Hermit with the Star. You're ready to receive. It's, it's victory. It's success. But we've got to be very aware of our surroundings and the messages coming from our spirit guides and our angels, especially through the animal avatars, because it's going to give us additional insight to different things and it's going to activate our consciousness. And also some, there will be information just given to you, conversations happening, people really opening up and sharing with each other. All right. So truly, um, I know we're past the 10th of September, but this does go from the 10th of September all the way to October 2nd. All right. Um, just because that showed up and it's a portal for a second chance at something in some capacity. And it's just better this way. And you know, Capricorn is 10th house energy, which is accomplishment, achievement. All right. So that first quarter moon uh, station that Luna goes into, like all of this will have played out by then. All right. Attract like the moon in the ocean. You attract good things into your life. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at that. Reevaluate. In the starless sky, we still look for the falling stars. So um, just another message that you are really going to be going down memory lane or taking a different look at things. Okay, it's time for some reevaluation so you can see phases shine even when you're not whole. All right, and so here we are. Luna is at a last quarter position, and then she wanes all the way down into a new moon, and then um, a first quarter moon. And she's not whole, so to speak, through all of that, right? Each phase of your life is like a phase of the moon. It offers you something, even when it's, you know, Luna's waning down, waning crescent right before she becomes new and there's no light from the moon in, in the dark evening sky, all right? Every phase of your life has purpose has meaning and it's teaching you something and giving you something. All things are connected. You're really going to become aware of that in the next two weeks. If you open your eyes and really take it all in, the angels will like give you big arrows this way, this way, and you're just going to understand things and the things are going to come and fit together for you. And through that reevaluation, it opens the portal for a second chance. And this time, it's success, okay? So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.